close your eyes and watch your breath. It's so you get more sensitive to what's going on in your body, right here, right now. So you're not distracted by the affairs of the world, and you can see what's going on in your body and your mind. Because those are the things that actually create the world. Those are the things that shape the world you're going to experience. And so you want to see what you can do to shape it in a good direction. You've got the breath, you've got your thoughts, your feelings. You can shape those. Sometimes we tend to think that our feelings are a given, that we have to, to sort of get in touch with our feelings and they're going to tell us the truth about what we really feel. But feelings are things that you can put together in all the different kinds of shapes, all different kinds of forms. So why not put them together in a good way, a way that's actually helpful to you, instead of identifying with feelings that might be destructive? You've got the choice. That's one of the important points of the Buddha's teachings, is you always got the choice to do the skillful thing. And not just do the skillful thing. There are many things that you think you're just on the receiving end of, and, but you're actually doing them. You're the, actu the person who's actually creating them by the way you act, by the way you think, by the way you speak. Where does this come from? It comes out of the mind. So if you get the mind in good shape, okay, then you're going to be in a much better position to shape other things well. In addition, your mind's going to shape your feelings, your feelings shape your mind. They go together like this. It takes a while to get out of old bad habits, because it is such a feedback loop like this. But once you've gotten a new direction and you can keep it going, 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 you find that the, the skillful impulses develop a momentum. And even though there may be negative things coming at you from your past karma, still you're in a better position to deal with them, to treat them in a skillful way. So it doesn't, doesn't keep up this old cycle of bad karma leading to unhappy results, leading to more defilements, leading to more bad karma. You don't want that. You want to get out of that cycle. And this is how we do it. We get in touch with the breath, we get in touch with the feelings created by the breath, and then we can learn to manipulate them in a way that's really refreshing. It feels good. It's energizing, calming. That helps break any negative cycles. So this is a practice you want to do every day, every day. Get the mind in good shape so that you can shape the world around you in a way that you really like, in a way that's really beneficial for you and the people around you. But you have to remember the important thing comes from within. The important points come from within. So you want to be able to watch this. This is why we stay with the breath, because the mind is right here when you're with the breath. And you can see its every move. And that way you can recognize unskillful moves and you can learn how to encourage skillful ones. Because it's all happening right here, and you're right here as well. 